Cooper Tech Review. Oh no, I sucked that up. Cooper Tech Central. Okay, welcome back to Cooper Cabana Tech Central with your Cooper Tech team. <laughs> Jordan in pop and see. Now, we just unboxed MCC. an Intel Skull Canyon NUC computer. MCC. And, y yes, see, we know you're here. And, um, what's all the cat fur? And, um, a damn animal. So now we're going to uh, put it together. So the unit comes uh, bare bones, which means you need to buy memory and you need to buy memory. a solid state hard disk. And RAM. The, the memory is the RAM, um, and um, and you need to buy Windows to install on it, or or yeah. Linux if you're that way inclined. Um, so so starting off with the with the RAM, um, it takes uh, sodiums which are um, laptop RAM. So you need to buy, uh, and there are two slots. So you can configure it with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so I've got a 32 gigabyte kit here, 2x16. Um, it's DDR4 you, and Intel recommend that you use um, 2133 megahertz RAM. So that's exactly what I've got here. So hopefully we'll have no problems at all. So this is a, a crucial 2x16 32 gigabyte kit. Um, other people have been experimenting with RAM that is higher frequency. Um, but we've stuck with the manufacturer's recommendations here today. Um, but keep your ear to the ground and you, uh, you might find out um, how people are going with other kinds of RAM. Uh, so that has to go in. Um, it also requires a solid state drive. Um, it has two M.2 slots, so you're going to have to buy an M.2 um, uh, solid SSD. Um, <clears throat> I've bought a Samsung 950 Pro, 512 gigabyte capacity. Um, so that's that's a that's a high performance drive. It's got NVM Express, um, so it it's about uh, as good as you can buy today. Um, so you can go two ways with your with your with your SSD. You can go for cheaper and larger capacity drive, or you can go for the smaller and uh, higher performance drive. Um, so, for example, you can get a one terabyte Intel um, M.2 SSD that will slot straight into this um, and that will give you high capacity um, for about the same price as this half terabyte uh, Samsung 950 Pro. So, it's, uh, it's up to you. I went for the higher performance. I have some regrets about that. I'm thinking maybe we should have got the one terabyte drive instead. Yeah. Or you can but, get that. Um, but that's that's the way that we work. Okay, you'll need a fine screwdriver, Phillips head, uh, to take off the base plate. There are four screws. That comes off quite easily. Uh, and then inside, you've got the uh, memory slots and the M.2 slots. So you can see the uh, fan over this side, quite a significant fan. So firstly, the memory if you have two, we'll go into these two slots here. There's an A and a B slot, so take notice of the instructions. Push it in first, and then push it down, and there's a little clip that will engage it uh, and keep it down flat. Otherwise, it'll spring up, and you don't want to leave it in that state because it'll be touching the metal contact of the, um, of the case. The second one goes in on top, and again, push it down until it clicks. And, uh, and then it will lie nice and flat. To install your uh, M.2 SSD, there's an A slot and a B slot. So depending on uh, what drives you have, you have to make sure you've got that configured properly. Of course, we've only got one drive, so we put it into the A slot. Um, <clears throat> also, depending on the size of your M.2 drives, uh, you have to uh, take care of the configuration because you can put in 80 millimeter or 42 millimeter. This is an 80 millimeter. So there's this little screw at the end here. You take that out, pop your drive into the into the housing, and then the screw goes back in, and that uh, it's springy too. So uh, you need to screw that down to keep it nice and flat. If you've got a 42 millimeter SSD, then there's a screw hole in the middle, 
uh, for mounting those smaller S SSDs. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Um, keep the, the cat hair out of it and then the base plate goes back on and you're done with the innards of the machine. Screw it back down, doesn't need to be tight. Remember, a Phillips head is the cross screw. It's more like a cross. Remember that. That's right. So the only other thing to do is to change the face plate if you want to, uh, to remove the skull motif. But um, I think we, we won't be doing that. The other thing that you can do is you can mount the uh, computer to the back of your monitor. It comes with a steel mounting plate for that purpose and screws. Um, so, which is quite a neat idea. It will hide it away uh, behind your monitor and you won't see it again. But on the other hand, it'll be um, a little bit harder to get to the USB ports and so forth. So, um, I'm not sure if we're going to do that. But uh, next step is to install Windows.